That's right, Janelle. Many people are looking at this as a major step forward and away from the pandemic. But like other things, uh, this is a new normal. Take a look at the majestic princess behind me in all of its majesty. There are some new rules to this cruiser. All of its passengers must prove they're vaccinated. They also have to show proof of a negative COVID test within two days of boarding. Masks are mandatory in all public spaces, and the ship is only at 60% of capacity. But none of that dampened the excitement of this return to cruising. A much awaited and anticipated welcome back. Today, the Majestic Princess cruise ship docked at Pier 27 in San Francisco, bringing with it over 2,000 passengers and over 1,200 staff. It's the first cruise ship to dock in the city since March of 2020. Time to get out. <laughs> we both said we felt safer than we thought we would. It was a very different scene a year and a half ago when the Grand Princess arrived in the bay, carrying with it dozens of COVID infected passengers and a sobering hint of the global pandemic unfolding. This time around, no outbreaks. Instead, an outpouring of excitement from both passengers and local businesses. Fleet week happened, uh, the Giants are winning, the cruise ships are coming back, so kind of there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Bob Partwright runs Wipeout Bar and Grill at Pier 39, just one of the businesses looking to benefit from cruises coming back. Before COVID, Pier 39 saw around 15 million visitors per year, but since the pandemic, they've only seen a fraction of that total, and they're ready to bounce back. Every visitor from every source of visitors that we can that we can get and the city can uh, can open up is really important for us for everyone on the waterfront. Safford says cruise ships injected almost 30 million dollars a year into the local economy, but he recognizes it won't all come back overnight, especially with staffing still a struggle in the service sector. Businesses are pooling and sharing employees around the pier, which is, I think, a first for the property, but also a very smart decision on their part. Now, Janelle, passengers we spoke to say they feel safe uh, inside Majestic Princess with all of the COVID protocols in place. The businesses and its employees that we spoke to also say they're open to welcoming back passengers and tourists with uh, all of these COVID protocols. Now, the Majestic Princess will say docked here at Pier 27 for two days before it heads to Mexico. We're live at Pier 27, Ginger Conero Saab, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, Ginger.